Sometimes your grades don't give a real indication of what your greatness might be. Or some of you went through something traumatic. You made it to the top of the hill, but, but not without scars and bruises. When completing a long climb, one first experiences dizziness, disorientation, and shortness of breath due to the high altitude. But once you become accustomed to the climb, your mind opens up to the tranquility of the triumph. Oftentimes, the mind is flooded with realizations that were for some reason harder to come to when you were at a lower elevation. Look down over what you conquered and appreciate what God has brought you through to make something out of nothing. As the scripture says, I planted the seed and Apollos watered it. But God kept growing. God kept it growing. Yet and still, when you invest in a seed, watching it grow without you, that is a bitter pill to swallow. A bitter pill. Anybody that's ever been fired knows what I'm talking about. Even if you really don't want the job, when they let you go, it's like any breakup. You act like you don't care. I didn't need that damn job anyway. I didn't need them. But when you have those moments alone, you start to wonder if there was a better way to handle it. And if you could have, if you could have handled it better, maybe you could help your family. And, and then before you know it, you're broke. And you find yourself scraping together change just so you can ride the subway so that you can get the next job. And maybe if you could book something else, that would eclipse the feeling of doubt that's building. But it seems like you can't pay them to hire you now. Sometimes you need to get knocked down before you can really figure out what your, what your fight is and how you need to fight it. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. God will move someone that's holding you back away from a door and put someone there who will open it for you. If it's meant for you, I don't know what your future is. But if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. <laughs>